Hey guys, here I am. I want to give my final thoughts on the Mega Drive Mini. But before we do that, let's go back at all the other mini systems I have to give my final thoughts. The first one I got, which a lot of us would have got a couple of years ago, was the Nintendo Entertainment System. Here in Australia, trying to put this on pre-order was unbelievable. Uh, EB Games, Target, and I think Big W, all those websites just couldn't uh, deal with the uh, high demand. I mean, I, me and my wife were working in WA in a little town called Newman uh, back then, and I remember trying to pre-order that thing. I got as far as the shopping cart on EB Games, and that was it. It, it pretty much took down those websites altogether. It was really funny. Uh, you know, I don't think anybody could anticipate how popular this thing was. And, you know, I'm somebody that never owned a Nintendo Entertainment System. I knew all about the games and all that sort of stuff. So I was really hyped for this thing. And I was so disappointed when I it, it sold out pretty, pretty much within minutes. I ended up getting this from the Soviet Union, believe it or not. But, you know, when it came, I played a little bit of Mario. I played a bit of the, the first Zelda game. Um, and to be honest, that was pretty much it. I probably, probably played about 20 minutes of it, 30 minutes of it. And I thought, oh, this is cool. I'll get back to it one day. But so far, I haven't gone back to it, which is a shame because there's some great games on it. Fast forward to the following year, I think it was. Yes, the Super Nintendo Mini. Unbelievable. One of my favorite systems of all time. And I was lucky they didn't sell out of pre-orders, which was really cool. Um, when I got it, I probably played... Oh boy, what did I play? I think I played a bit of Super Mario World and Castlevania 4, which Castlevania 4 is one of my favorite games of all time. It's unbelievable. The music and everything about that game is great. But I played a bit of it and just totally forgot about it. And it's sitting over the shelf over there. Nice little display. That's pretty much all it is now is a display piece. It's not something that you plug into the TV and play at all. Now, I had no intention of getting the... Uh, PlayStation Classic. No way was I going to get this. Nah, -uh, no way. And you can see this thing is gathering dust on it. It's unreal. Uh, but I did get it mainly because I saw a video by Player Parker uh, where you could buy a USB stick on eBay. This is full of uh, adventure games, so Tomb Raider is on there, and that's one of my favorite games on the, the original PlayStation. I was so disappointed when that wasn't on there. I wasn't going to get this thing at all because it didn't have Tomb Raider. But because I saw Player Parker do a video, uh, this has got so many great adventure games on it. I thought, okay, now I can get on the hype train and get it. So I did get this thing and I played a bit of Tomb Raider and that was it. Played probably a half an hour of it and just sitting there gathering dust with everything else. Which brings us to the Mega Drive Mini. Yes, this is the system I was really hyped for. I've done about five or six videos on the Mega Drive Mini before it was released, and those videos got a hell of a lot of review, uh, views. All to, it was amazing, to be honest with you. Um, like I could have done that as my niche thing, just talk about Mega Drive stuff, but no way. Uh, so, yep, I got this thing. I was super hyped for it. It came out on the 19th of September, 2019. I came home. I did the unboxing for this which has a lot of views as well. It's just, what is it with the uh, Mega Drive stuff? I don't know. But um, after I did the unboxing of it, I plugged it on into the TV. I tried a bit of Tetris, because this is the first time in, what, all those years that finally we played Tetris. Honestly, the best version of Tetris I've seen is probably on the Game Boy. This one didn't do it for me. I think the Game Boy one, to me, is the best. But I played a bit of a... Uh, what else did I play? I played a bit of um, Ghouls and Ghosts. Couldn't get past the first level. As usual, I couldn't do that. No way. But i got to say, out of all of the um, classic minis and all that sort of stuff, this is probably the best one out of all of them. The controller felt so right. It felt, you know, like the, back in the day. I think that that controller is, was a bit bigger than the uh, the Japanese one, if I remember correctly. Here in Australia, we had the uh, the controller was which was the 
uh, you know, Japanese people have smaller hands than Americans, so uh, for us we got the, uh, I'm pretty sure it was a smaller controller, whereas in America your controller is a bit bigger. So a little bit of information there, but I was so hyped for it and um, played it for a little bit and again it's sitting over there on the shelf, a nice little uh, Sonic the Hedgehog collection I got over there. I haven't gone back to it. Um, so that's my final thoughts on these things. I'm so hyped for these things before they're released. I get them, I play them for a little bit, and I mean to go back to play more of them, but I never get around to doing that sort of stuff. Um, it's just the way it is with me, I guess. Uh, hopefully one day when my daughter's a bit older, she's going to probably say to, hey daddy, what's this thing? Let's play this. So maybe then when she's a bit older, we'll we'll both rediscover these great systems but that's my final thoughts on the uh, Mega Drive Mini super hyped for it never really got around to playing it as much as I would like it's just the way it is that's the way it is with me um, yeah tell me what you think guys you've been in a similar situation have you bought these things and played them to death or you played them a little bit and just put them away and say I'll come back to that another day but you never do because that's what I've done uh, yeah, so that's my final thoughts on the Mega Drive Mini. Great system. Never really played it that much, unfortunately. Just the way it is. See you next time, guys. Bye.